Alright, here we are, Quartzside, Arizona. Hot. A little bit warm, but we're out exploring. What are you doing? Coming in on Highway 95, coming up to Interstate 10, right off there to the left. That's where they're going to have a lot of uh, things going on with the, the vendors and everything like that. And then the big tent is uh, is over here too. So this is on the south side of the, uh, the south side of the interstate. All right. So here we're driving on basically what I call the frontage road. Uh, it is on the south side of the interstate. And this goes in the same direction of the interstate so you can get on this and go from basically one end of Portside to the other. So it's really kind of hard to get lost here. You can stay on this road and then you can jump over the overpass to go on the other side of the interstate, which would be the north side, which is the, really the town of Quartzside, Quartzside proper. And you can, uh, that's called Main Street. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. So all these areas you see down here right now will probably be full. Now you can see how close we are to the interstate right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to, uh, take this all the way down. There's a Love's gas station down here. What you got to remember in Quartzsite, um, there's two exits. I think there's exit 17 and then I think exit 19. Exit 17, if you want to go north or south on Highway 95, you have to come down one of these side streets or go up to hit Main Street. There is no direct exit or entrance ramp onto Highway 95. So you just got to remember that. When we got off on exit 17 coming from the California side, you know, there, we thought we were just going to have to turn right and go south on 95 to where we're going to the resort, but it didn't work out that way. You got to go through town and come back around. So anyway, we're going to go up here and then we're going to go down this road on the other side of the Loves here and check it out. So hang on. Alright, so here we are. We are on Dome Rock Road. We're heading west. Again, this is like a frontage road right next to the interstate. We're on the south side. <coughs> There's some old cars out here. There's an RV dealership out here. But this road here will take us all the way out to the BLM land and Dome Rock. So, all you have to do is get on this. This is where the BLM land you can stay out for free for 14 days. So we're going to go out there and show you that quick and show you Dome Rock. All right, so here we are. We're out at Dome Rock Road. We're out on the 14-day camping sites. Um, come out here. Pull off anywhere you want to. Find you a spot. Then you can stay here for up to 14 days. I don't know how much they enforce it. Uh, I guess if you get too crazy and too wild, you'll uh, they'll probably run you off and give you a reason to. But there's hardly anybody out here right now. Of course, we're in the middle of October. Not too many people going to be here. There's one lonely RV over there on the left. But anyway, Dome Rock's right up here on the left. We're going to cruise up there quick. But anywhere out here, like you can see right there, just pull off. Find your spot, and it's free. All right, here we are. We jump back up on the interstate. We're headed east. We're gonna get off at this exit 17, and uh, show you how to get down to the main street of town. Again, everything over on the right side of this interstate is a 14-day BLM land. As you saw, there were a few people out here. And then once you get down into town or off of uh, 95, it's, it's 
what you got to pay, I can't remember what it was, $160 or something, and you can stay 178 days or something. I don't know what it was. But you can stay a lot longer. It's longer term. So if you're coming down here for four months, that's what you need to do. Or you just need to pack up and move every 14 days. And some of the places that you you pay for, they've got water and a sewer dump there that you can you can at least go uh, fill up with water and uh, and dump at. Not all of them, but some of them do. So we're gonna get off here at exit 17. There's a Love's truck stop. Right now, gas is at two dollars and fifteen cents a gallon, and diesel is two sixty-three. That's the credit price. The two fifty-eight is the cash price. So if you're going to get off and you want to go on 95 south or north, 95 goes north to Parker, you're going to get off here. And if you go to the right, that's a service road that will go out to Dome Rock or it will go left and do the frontage road all the way down to the exhibits and stuff. So don't get confused because we were when we got off. So you're going to go up here to the light, got a Carl's Jr., Burger King, Burger King, Mobile, so they got plenty of places to eat, fuel, of course this place is probably a madhouse if, it, if you're coming here later on. This is Main Street, so this road here just like the front frontage road on the north. This goes all the way through town, and there's your 295 north or 295 south. You stay on here, the next light. I think there's only three lights on this main street in town. There's a lot of little tourist places you can go to. They're really not open yet. McDonald's right there. Here's a pilot. A lot of beads. A lot of people do the, the bead thing down here uh, where they put beads together. I guess it's it's a hobby of a lot of the, the wives and stuff get together in clubs and teach you how to do this. A lot of things aren't open yet. Some of them were. But you just stay on this road. There's all kinds of campgrounds in here that you can go to. I'm sure it'll be crawling with vendors in about another month. RV dealerships will come in. Start bringing their RVs in. Dollar store, there's a family dollar here. A couple Mexican joints. And you can go to the hardware store and get liquor. Yep. <laughs> It's a big market hardware over there where they've got a hardware store on one side and a little grocery store on the other side. Their wine selection is is slim, so if you have a particular wine, bring it. You better bring all you can drink, or you're going to have to go to Parker or back to Blythe to a Walmart or something because while well, they have hard liquor here, it seems like you can find it. Their wine selection is is a little bit. There's 88 Shades RV Park on the right. And out of all the grocery stores we went to, this Roadrunner is really the best one I found. Yep. There's Hassler's RV That's just Park. My opinion. Well, this guy must be roughing it or <laughs> doing something, but takes all types. He's laughing at himself. Yeah. They have some characters out here. Yep. No offense. Yep, this is a desert. Every town's got their characters. There's Silly Al's Pizza right there on the right. Great Very pizza. Good. About $16 a pizza. We may go back in there today. We've already been there once. We may go back in there today. So here's Highway 95, you go north or south. Couple gas stations here, another RV dealership. La Mesa RV is right there. A 
lot of places RV parts in service. Taco Mio right there on the left that we ate at. There's a the Roadrunner Market on the left. That seems to be the best place to, to for yes. Kim said to get groceries, huh? Yeah. What all do they it's have? Nice, in there? clean. They have everything that, that you would want. They actually had the better wine selection too. They had the best wine selection. They actually carried Kendall Jackson. There you go. There, okay, there's the family dollar clean. up here on the left. So we're coming up to the second exit that you can come from if you're coming from the Phoenix area this way you'll get off on this exit here so we're assuming all oh, this will be full can't imagine but another I'm month sure or two but that's basically the tour of Quartzite <laughs> it is what it is but I'm sure you can look at some other RV or TV uh, has done an excellent uh, video on Quartzite. He spends a lot of time down here. I'd give his channel a look if you're coming down here. Even uh, maybe even message him and tell him that you're looking for a place, and he might be able to give you some recommendations. He has some great information out there on it. Yeah, he knows this area pretty well. There's another dealership. Side-by-sides, razors, uh, golf carts, you name it. So anyway, that's about it. Just to give you an idea, there's another Chevron at the exit. This thing is exit 19, I believe. So that's the uh, that's the big uh, tour of Quartzite. Tour of Quartzite. <laughs>